It's okay, my owlet. I'm here. It's all right. Calm down. Shh. It's okay. You're okay. There we are. What's troubling you this time, my dear? Not another nightmare. You know they can't hurt you. Here now. Lie back down. Don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. I'll stay with you until you can safely return to your own fanciful world as you see it. You think it's no longer safe? Well, of course it is, my dear. There couldn't be a more serene sanctuary in this entire realm than within our dreams, especially those that belong to you and I. Remember, my Via, the dreamscape in all its infinite wonder and mystery is bound specifically to our family. It's exactly why you experience them so strongly. But at your age, it is a tad bit surprising. But let's not dwell on that right now. In fact, why don't you tell me about some of your favorite dreams from the past, hmm? Your room used to be covered with your drawings of them. Where are they now? Oh. <laughs> You're using them as bookmarks. Mm. That's my clever feather. Now, let's see here. Ah, I think I remember this one. If I recall correctly, you dreamt that something terrible was going to happen at Lululand of all places, and it was up to you to get everyone in the park to safety, and stop the calamity. What was the calamity again, might I ask? The candy floss machine was going to explode and evaporate the park. Oh, that's what the gigantic pink cloud is supposed to be. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, I don't know about you, but... I wouldn't mind having a more sweeter view of hell, wouldn't you? Are you sure this wasn't one of my dreams you illustrated? Well, if you say so. Great owls dream alike, I suppose. <laughs> There's a smile. Let's see, what other artistic bookmarks can we find? in this sacred text, or, should I say, your new art portfolio. No, no, <laughs> I don't mind, Via. In fact, I encourage it. Of course, I honestly think that these ancient tomes could benefit from the touch of an inspired young mind such as yours. Although, I'm having trouble making sense of this one. How about you enlighten me? It's missing its pieces. How do you mean? There's more to it. Well, let's complete the puzzle, shall we? If I had known I was going to be deciphering my daughter's paper mache runes, I would have put your bed in the observatory. No, of course not, Via. I wouldn't put you that far away from us. Don't you worry. Maybe this one. No, that's clearly you and I having a tea party with my collection of plants. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I remember this one. You saw me capturing an entire galaxy 
within a glass jar. This was one of my favorites, actually. Could I have this one, Via? Thank you, my dear. Now then, where were we? If we move this one there... Oh, I think... Yes, this one's upside down. If I align them like so, and this last page... Via, you crafted my seal using all these different pages. That's fantastic, darling. I've never seen it so separate yet connected before. You certainly have a way of making me see things from so many perspectives, my Starfire. Are there any others that you can think of that you'd like to show me? Is that you skating on the rings of Saturn? <laughs> Would you be envious of me if I told you that I've actually done that before? Oh yes, it is possible. Well, just so long as you know where to step. But that's what these are for. After all, as a matter of fact, I have been thinking about taking you there on your next birthday. But don't tell your mother that you know that. She'd probably get a tad bit upset if our surprise was spoiled too soon. But hey, I think you need something to look forward to at the moment, don't you think? <laughs> And I guarantee you, Via, being there, floating amidst the eternally spellbinding cascades of ethereal ice, is even more astounding than what you would ever see in your dreams. I can't wait to show you. <sighs> I think it's about time. We both return to that limitless world of tranquility. What do you say? Come now, Octavia. Are they really that frightening? They can't be worse than the forgettable trenches of our own world, can they? What is it exactly that you've been dreaming of, Via? You know you can tell me. Go on. Shh. It's okay. It's okay, my Starfire. Look at me. You're all right. Oh, Via. Listen to me. I assure you, my dear, there is no such thing as a radio demon. Now doesn't that just sound silly? Even if there was such a thing, especially down here no less, remember, you are part of the prestigious Goetia family, which means there aren't too many demons that would dare cross us. Don't worry, my princess. As you grow older, you'll begin to see that your dreams hold more significance than you may think, even the unfortunate ones. You may feel as though that you are but a moth to the flames of these visions and prophecies. But I assure you, it is indeed the other way around. Oh, Via, please don't worry. That's why I'm here, to keep you underneath my wing, 
so long as you need it, my dear. Shh. There we are. Close your eyes. I'll still be here when you awaken. Sweet dreams, Octavia. Don't grow up too fast, my dear Owlette.